Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about basically how to calculate the cable size for particular load and feeder. Okay. So in this video, we will basically focus on thumb rule. Basically, how to calculate the cable size according to thumb rules. In next video, we will go for details. Okay. As for D rating factor of cable and with the help of cable catalog. Okay. So before I start the session, I would like to request if you are not yet subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos. So let's get started. So here we have a some thumb rules for calculating the cable size okay so basically for copper cable basically one square mm copper cable size current ca carrying capacity is 2.4 ampere so one square mm copper cable current ca carrying capacity is 2.4 and one square mm aluminium cable current carrying capacity is 1.4 ampere okay and up to if we calculate the cable size as for copper cable if our calculated value is up to 16 square mm then we go for copper cable if it is more than this 16 square mm then we go for aluminium cable because of cost saving okay so these are the thumb rules for calculating the cable size okay now let's move to the steps okay basically there are four steps which we have to follow for sizing the cable so first in first step we have to calculate the total load total load of the feeder or circuit okay then second step calculate the current then third step calculate the cable size and then finally select the cable size as per available in market because as per our calculator value we may not find exact size of cable as per calculated value so we go for cable size as per available in markets okay so these are the cable size which are available in market from 1.5 square mm to 1000 square mm okay so these are the cable size which are available in market okay now here we have a sld of smdb okay so this is the main incomer mccb which is 180 ampere tpn mccb and there are five feeder okay there are five circuits so it has a its feeder has a its own loads so feeder one has a 2 kilowatt feeder two 1.5 feeder three 40 kilowatt feeder four 25 kilowatt and feeder five 75 kilowatt okay so these are the loads which is connected in individual circuit okay now let's calculate the cable size okay for individual feeder so first we'll have to let's calculate the cable size for main incomer so from here this main cable okay so for that first we have to calculate the cable size okay so what we have to do we have to sum of all the feeder loads so let's sum it for two point so 2 plus 1.5 plus 40 plus 25 plus 7.5 kilowatt if we sum it this will become 76 kilowatt so our total connected load on this main incomer is 76 kilowatt now let's calculate the current according to this load so this is the three phase load so we go for three phase power formula to calculate the current so here i am going to use the thumb rules okay so so this is the 76 kilowatt let's convert it into watt so 76 into 1000 it becomes 76000 watt divided by 575 so this is basically factor which we are going to calculate the three phase current here we have so actually from where we get it so this is p equal to root 3 vi cos 5 okay so here i am considering cos 5 power factor 0 0.8 and voltage 415 okay and if we multiply all these factor it will become 575 so i equal to p which is power divided by this factor root 3 into i into oh sorry into b into voltage actually phase to phase voltage and power factor okay so from here this factor will actually come okay so simply if we are calculating the current for three phase just divide by divide the power by this factor 575 now it becomes 132.17 ampere okay so this is our calculated current 
now according to this current we'll calculate the cable size okay now go to step 3 so first what we have to do in case 1 we go first we go for copper cable calculation okay so 1 square mm copper cable how much it will carry 2.4 ampere okay so how much current we have 132.2 one seven let's divide by 2.4 ampere now if we calculate it it becomes 55.05 square mm so this is the cable size copper cable size but here what happened this is more than 16 square mm so as i have already told you if it is greater than 16 square mm then we go for aluminium cable okay now so in case 2 aluminium cable so actually one square mm 1 square aluminium cable current ca capacity is 1.4 ampere so let's divide it by 132.17 divided by 1.4 so this becomes 94.04 square mm so this is the aluminium cable size now exact this value exact of this value cable size will we may not find in the market okay so for that so this is our calculated cable size value 94.04 okay so we only go for higher than this value not below than that okay so let's move to the cable selection chart so our calculated value is how much 94.04 so where is it actually here okay so it's near about 95.95 square mm so our final proposed cable size for main incomer is one run which r r stand for run one run four core 95 square mm aluminium xlpe insulation so basically this is insulation xlp type okay so this cable is finally we selected for main incomer okay so let's put over here so this is our cable size for main incomer okay now let's calculate for feeder one okay this is for single phase okay so similar way we can do it so for feeder one our total our total connected load is two kilowatt which is single phase okay and uh, let's calculate the current so current and uh, so this is 2 kilowatt let's convert into uh, watts so 2 into multiply by 1000 so it become 2000 watt and divide by so this is the single phase load so we go for 184 so this is the multi this is the factor which we got from i equal to p dv divided by v cos phi okay which is power factor so if we multiply 230 into 0.8 it will become 184 so this is for thumb rule that's why uh, while calculating we can use this one okay just multiply your single phase power divided <coughs> by this factor then you will you can calculate the current easily okay assuming your power factor is 0 0.8 okay now our calculated current is 10.86 ampere now here this is our calculated current now according to this current we will be now we can calculate the cable size so here we have a cable size so first we go for copper cable so 10.86 divided by 2.4 so how much it will 4.52 square mm so this is the our calculated which is below the 16 square mm so for that so this is below the 16 square mm so we go for copper cable okay now this is our calculated values so as per this we may not find our exact cable size in the market so we go for around this value so here we have a so 4.6 actually so we do we always go for higher value not below it so 4.6 is near to this one okay 6 square mm which is higher than this value okay so we go for 16 6 square mm so our proposed cable size is sorry for this feeder one for feeder one it's one run two core actually actually here we are going for single phase that's why one for phase and one for neutral so two core six square mm copper cable pvc type insulation here we have selected now let's put it over here okay so here this is the cable size for feeder one now let's calculate the sim in similar way you can calculate for feeder two also for single phase okay now for feeder three let's calculate the cable size okay here we have a load 40 kilowatt and three phase load so for that again let's calculate the load so this is the load and let's calculate the current so p equal to 40 kilowatt 
and uh, let's can convert it to what so 40,000 and divided by uh, this is actually a uh, three phase system that's why let's divide it 575 now this will become 69.56 ampere so our calculated current is 69.56 ampere now according to this we can calculate the cable size so for first uh, for uh, copper cable so let's divide this calculated current by 2.4 ampere now here we we got uh, our cable size uh, copper cable size 28.9 square mm so this is the uh, more than 16 square mm so we go for case 2 which is aluminium cable okay so let's divide this calculated current by 1.4 ampere which is current carry one square co current carrying capacity of this aluminium cable now divided into so this becomes 49.68 square mm now as for this let's select the cable so 49.96 so it's near about this so we go for 50 square mm okay so our proposed cable size for feeder 3 is 1 run 4 core because it is a uh, three phase neutral system three phase system that's why you go for 4 core and 50 square mm which is aluminium type xlp cable okay so in this way we can calculate the cable size of all feeder or circuit as per load okay so in similar way we can also calculate for feeder 4 feeder 5 okay so hope you guys understand about the cable size basically how to calculate the cable size as per thumb rules okay so thank you for watching this video please like share subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos thank you very much see you again in next video